Hi everyone. So Gar Bear, um, laughing my ass off, um, LMA Lamau or whatever. Um, previous video that I did, which was a um, tutorial for Stellaris. Um, it, well, I probably should have covered um, ship design of the rock paper scissors um, approach. Why don't I cover that now, and I can kind of link it to the original video. So, I so. I thought today I would cover how to actually look at the enemy ships and then figure out what kind of ships you should build to counter the enemy, okay? Okay, so we're going to look at the Alpha Refuge, so we're going to zoom in, click on one of the enemy craft, and you'll notice this um, menu appears down the side here. So we're going to look at one of the um, ships, okay, instantly, right, it's got 8,000 shields, okay. But 5,000 armor. So that means if we want to defeat this guy, we're going to need to attack for shields. Um, so, yeah, we're going to need um, attacking for shields. Okay. Um, what are we going to need for defense? Well, we've got strike craft, so we need strike craft defense. I think. Well, okay, we don't really need to bother with strike craft because actually there's quite a few strike craft. Okay, so we can counter for strike craft and we're going to look and they do. Um, Armor damage, armor damage. Um, that's a bit more general, but yeah, armor damage. Okay. So um, we want lots of shields on our ship, and we want to attack shields. Okay. So next, we're going to go to the um, ship designer. Sorry, and make sure this is unticked. Okay. If this is ticked, it won't allow you to create new ships. We're going to go new ship, and we're going to choose. Let's just keep it easy, simple. Let's go for cruiser, okay? Um, so the first thing you need to choose is what kind of um, ship you want. Um, so we want something that's good with destroying freighters. I think if you've got smaller weapons, right, they'll do more damage over time. I think larger weapons tend to um, damage one ship more. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're going to go for one of them. Uh, so here we go. Um, hangar core, right? And the uh, what should we have? Small uh, or a medium? We go medium, okay. And this isn't the biggest ship possible, but I thought it's nice and simple. What did we say? We said we want lots of shields, okay, and not very much armor. So let's start with the shields um, and a bit of armor, okay. So we've got loads of shields on my ship now. Um, because the enemy was um, doing a lot of armor damage, so we've got more shields, so that should counter it. Now, these are utility slots down here, um, and we're going to go shield capacitors, right? The shield capacitors will um, basically increase the shield hit points by 10%, so we've got loads of shields, so that kind of makes sense. Let's go for weapons. We want weapons that destroy shields, right? Because the enemy had superior shield. So we're going to go for the gas cannon. You can look at the overall damage if you want to, um, for a large, um, so it's 84 to 276, um, obviously you have a look at the damage, this does a lot more damage, but this is really bad at shield damage, um, minus 50% shield damage, so bear in mind this might be a better choice, um, but it's going to do less damage to shields, okay, um, whereas this is going to do 50% more damage to shields, um, Actually, it's still worth having your proton launcher in here, um, just based on the damage. Um, but the fire rate, I think, is lower, isn't it? Um, oh, I don't know. Um, proton launcher is fine. But yeah, if I didn't have a proton launcher, I'd definitely go for the gas cannons. Now, the peas are your counter. So these are going to counter the um, little ships that the enemies are going to send out. And we want the flak cannon, um, which does minus 75 armor damage. Um, so again, that's good for attacking shields. What's this one? Yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, flat cannon is um, incredibly lethal to enemy strike craft. Um, what's the description here? Improve. Um, so this one's better for missiles, where it looks at things. This one's better for strike craft. What's the H? Oh, the H is um, Harrier. Um, so we want the advanced strike craft in here. And let's get something that's good against um, shields. 
so this will do very nicely because this has got a 50% shield damage bonus okay so we've got loads of shields on the ship um, which is good because the um, enemies are good at attacking armor and we've got um, weapons which will basically attack the, um, the enemy shields which are more advanced so that'll do nicely um, you can also have a look in here so ship fire rate um, what's this one ship um, ship weapon range if you want you can basically um, call it put a code in or something so shield shield harrier uh, okay and you want to click auto complete design um, the problem is it won't save because we don't have enough power so what you can do you can click on here and you can um, click advanced reactor booster okay so now the advanced reactor booster will generate give us 200 extra energy um the energy will appear down the side here okay um so yeah now we've got like we could even go full shields couldn't we if we wanted we've got the energy for it oh no we we, we can't okay put some armor back in and we didn't have enough energy so it wouldn't let us save so now we can save yeah then you just go to your um manufacturing area and we'll find the um, ship design, which is this one. We can just build a bunch of them. Now, bear in mind, this is going to cost um, six um, exotic gases. Okay, so make sure you've got a good supply of exotic gases, I guess. Um, again, you don't need to worry about that till the later game. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you found this useful. Okay, um, just a word of, word of warning a lot of the end game ships, right? Um, will have um, very particular designs. Some of them are incredibly heavy on the armor and they won't have any shields. Some might have really good shields. Um, so that's the main thing you want to look for, you know. Um, do you want... Um, and also, you know, obviously if um, the enemy is really good at attacking shields, you want good armor defense. If they're really good at attacking armor, you want good shield defense, right? Because that's going to do a lot less damage overall. So I um, hope that helped you guys and thank you very much. Uh, bye.